Venus flytraps are actually native to the coastal plains in Carolina in the US, where they thrive in nutrient-poor wetlands. The traps release a sweet scent that mimics those emitted by fruits and flowers. Plus, they secrete a sweet mucus, which attracts those buzzing insects, along with a red colouring that intensifies under the summer sun. Many insects will think it's a flower. A really important thing to know, just like lots of your houseplants, it's always better to give fly traps rainwater than tap water. They don't like the chemicals in our tap water. The hairs, or scilla as they are called, on the inside of the traps need to be touched twice in quick succession. That means that the trap isn't shut accidentally by rain or falling debris. Now Venus fly traps can actually be a picky eater. They are more likely to catch insects that are small, alive and struggling. The plant will always trap prey that it can digest effectively. Once the prey is trapped, the plant secretes enzymes that breaks down the soft tissue of the insect. The plant will then absorb those nutrients to supplement its diet. Once closed, the traps take 5 to 12 days to reopen after they've digested their food. And each trap will only work a handful of times. So don't be tempted to close them yourself, as this will weaken the overall plant. Now they are quite sensitive souls. Be aware that they can be sensitive to changes in light, temperature and humidity. So the best thing you can do is keep these consistent throughout the year when growing your flytraps indoors. Due to habitat loss and illegal collection, Venus flytraps are considered a vulnerable species. You cannot go into the wild and collect them. Our Venus flytraps have been cultivated responsibly and travel with their plant passport.